gotten right yet. I burn through them every six months. I don't want you guys wasting your money burning through boots. Yeah, dude, I love those laces. Good. Everybody sleep good? Yes. Two guys are splitting the two stations. Bad. So you get a good pair of boots, that damn thing better last you for a while. All right, guys, last winter I made a video and I was such a raving fan of Keen Boots, but a few persistent questions kept popping up in my mind, like this whole Made in America thing, and I thought, well, I better check into that a little bit more. And then I kept getting questions from guys in different industries asking about how well they function in different trades. And so today I put a pair of Keen Boots on Frankie, who does construction work, Tim, who does heavy equipment, and Xander, who does basically general laboring, and I find out from them exactly what they think of them. And not everybody was as raving a fan as I was. So today we're going to, well, you know what we're gonna do. Let's just go do it. Let's quit talking about it and get something done. I've been wearing these boots for a couple weeks now. I went to put on my Red Wings for the first time. Yeah. In a couple weeks, yeah. it just felt really funny compared to these. <laughs> I think I maybe got the Red Wings a half size too small this or is something, a but. It's a shoe diva. She's like, oh, these boots don't fit right. Oh, these are uncomfortable in the heel. I these are just like that, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, these got a lot of toe room. I like them. Yeah? This boot's pretty comfortable after wearing them. I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, in all honesty, I have never heard Tim say that in my life. I've never actually heard you say you like the boot. Now what you use them for and what Frankie uses his for are completely different. Like you're in heavy equipment and you're in uh, climbing up and down and in mud when you were taking your shoes off, were your feet wet or were they okay? Yeah, they weren't wet. Here's the thing, when I was wearing my Red Wings, I would never take them off without putting them on a boot dryer. Yeah, okay, there it is. The, this is where the boots get parked. There's the boot dryer. And I'll tell you right now, Frankie, I have wore Keens now for over a year and I've never had my Keens on the boot dryer one single time. You like when your toes are squished together more? I like, like a tight foot. Tight toes? Yeah, just because of the walking around on, you know, beams of the roof and stuff like that. I yeah. feel more, I feel more secure. Okay. You know, with the keens or whatever, they, my foot's loose. Okay, that's good to know. So, because you work, you walk on tight beams. What I was talking about with Tim is he's always working in mud and heavy equipment, but you're balancing and you're walking. And with the keens, what happens is the toe is really wide and then it's narrow in the heel, so it yep. grabs hold of your heel but gives your foot plenty of room to spread out so it doesn't feel like your feet are jacked in there. But for you, you want your toes to be jacked in there because like just a tightrope walker. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. that just, makes it sense. Feels like more secure with, you know, with a tight foot. The thing about these two, these Keens, is you're wearing a steel toe right now, Tim. Does it feel like it? No, they're pretty light. Dude, they're, they're, they're really light compared to the other, the other ones. I've had my Keens now for a year and a half. So, well, no, a year. Uh, yeah, it's been a year, not a year and a half. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't buy anything but a key now. Okay, so the scoreboard is Timmy loves his. Frankie doesn't like his. I love mine. And we gave another pair to uh, the kid, Xander. Let's find out what he thinks of his. I got you turning the machine totally off from high idle. Yeah, that's the wrong thing to do. Bad. And a guy you almost fallen. No, I did fall. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. Right uh, what's the rule? You normally want to idle it down and let it sit for about two minutes to let the engine cool down so it doesn't go. See, he knows what to do. It's just, does he do it? He gets excited. It's a camera. It's you guys. <laughs> what do you think your boots so far? I'm loving them actually. Yeah? They're super nice. They're really comfortable. Like super comfortable. They support my heel a lot. Yeah. Which my cowboy boots did not do. I didn't notice that till after I took my cowboy boots off and wore these for a while. T Timmy said the same thing. He's like, I tried to put my Red Wings back yeah, on. Yeah, he was saying that this morning. Yeah, and he's like, I couldn't stand couldn't do it. No, yeah, no, no, right? I actually went up to uh, the North Shore with these. It was raining all weekend, so I was walking through puddles, mud, all that, and my yep. feet never got wet. Really? Nope. Your next pair of boots, would you buy a pair of Keens, yes or no? I love them, 
Uh, I'd definitely buy them again. So you would buy them? Oh yeah. Alright, well I'll let you get back to work. All right. I just wanted to find out how those were holding up for you. Hey, you want to show the world your new tattoo? He designed this himself. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Doesn't hurt anymore, sorry. <laughs> Didn't hurt when I got it. Alright guys, it's all about your feet today because I will tell you as you get older, take care of your feet. It's the most valuable resource you have to make you the most productive during the entire day. And so today we are going to cover the basics on how to buy a boot. But this is something that I didn't know and so I went to Keen. I love my Keens. I freaking love my Keen boots. I'm going to tell you straight up. I've done the test of time with them and they have not failed once and so who's better to help me understand and bring you guys this information than the guys that make these boots that absolutely rock so we're going to be looking at them in detail plus we're going to be building our own pair in portland oregon i'm going to show you how they do this process how they test them and how you guys can pick out your own boots so get ready we have a lot of information coming you better grab the popcorn so for my industry hardscaping landscaping this is the boot that Keen recommends we go with. Okay, so this is what this boot is made out of right here. You got it. And obviously the steel toe cap would go in here. So that's how this boot is constructed. There's a lot of pieces and parts to it. And the biggest and most important thing is we use this TPU uh, three quarter length plate that goes all the way to grab the heel, but also provide uh, as a shank almost that stretches out to the edges just to provide a little bit more stability. So that's mm -hmm. good torsional rigidity primarily because of how this is in the system uh, within all this soft EVA material, but it provides a lot of structure. Uh, we found that this technology, which I just showed you, this, this only has one set of ribs. This particular boot has an even longer piece that goes further up the boot and has three sets of ribs. It goes all the way up to these yeah, indicators. Yeah, which gives even there. more torsional stability. So if you're on really uneven ground. Yeah, this like can almost that's the challenge boot a welted boot. It gets so okay. solid like that. Uh, um, can you actually show me the exact boot you'd recommend for a guy in the concrete industry? Somebody that's not working on uneven ground as much, but just a lot of day-to-day -day grind on the body. If you are wearing a leather boot and you're in concrete, I would suggest a certain leather called SPR leather. Uh, it's developed years ago by uh, one of our competitors, uh, which is now used in a few of our boots. It looks like regu regular leather. You'd never know the difference, but this SPR leather uh, can handle all sorts of acidity, chemicals. Uh, it will last longer in harsher, more toxic environments like concrete. Uh, especially in the farming industry, but it can handle that kind of toxicity, handles lime, things that actually usually eat leather. Because there. there's guys out there that are yeah. especially in those in industries where they're burning through boots, some guys have an insane success ratio and they're like, oh, I've got boots for three years or five years and other guys are like, I burn through them every six months. God, there's a reason, and you, I don't want you guys wasting your money burning through boots. You get a good pair of boots, that damn thing better last you for a while. Okay, so here's something else I learned, is this boot right here is a great boot. Metatarsal, yeah. So that's got... Metatarsal protection. So metatarsals are the top bones in your feet. Yep. Uh, it's a requirement, it's actually certain types of boots. And this can be their external, so here it is an external piece, regular boot underneath. Okay. Uh, and then we have some boots where it's actually on the inside. Okay, so if you guys may be asking why do I care about that, well, if you are in an in industry where you gotta have that protection, or um, one of the guys uh, at, the, at the factory she was talking about how he likes it for chainsaw work, forestry work, because his laces aren't getting caught while he's walking through the woods when he's cutting wood, he prefers it. Um, and then you have one, do you have a boot that actually has that built in? Yeah, uh, this actually has it built in. Um, I know it seems weird, but that boot with, or that shoe with and without, you never notice, because it's essentially this piece of material. It's soft and squishy, it's providing Ooh. the same protection as this. No. Totally sounds weird, right? So, look how thin that is. Yeah. This is the EVA squishy material I was showing you that's thicker, right? Yeah. So, uh, same ball bearing, bounces like crazy, right? Yeah. Holy crap. It's very weird. It's a chemical process. The blood, so it's soft it, without anything happening to it. Yeah. A little bit of energy, like an impact, does this whole chemical thing which turns this thing rock solid for a moment. 
which allows it to absorb all that energy and stop it. And it's so much thinner. This thing is rock solid. And honestly, if you have to bend on your knee, you get this thing jamming up into your shin. Oh, so it's dude. really limiting. But some companies want to see it. Huh. Some companies will demand it, but don't care if they see it or not. But uh, at least you have the ability to do this. So I can make a boot with and without this. You'd never know it was in there. Huh. Um, so it's a really great technology that's been added. Do that, that ball thing again. Yes. Sure. So bounces on EVA, right? That's insane. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Who would have thought boots could be this interesting? One of the things that Keen does different is they have a left and a right toe cap. So you can see how this is actually angled to accommodate your big toe. A typical toe cap is just a universal, they go on left or right. They're interchangeable. If you also notice one other difference between the toe caps is ours kicks, well first theirs fits inside ours. Clearly there's more room. Oh, okay. Which is nice. Yeah. Um, but if you also notice the shape, ours swings out wider. Uh, and here, not only is your big toe gonna start feeling it, but your little toe is definitely feeling it. Yeah, we gotta do this one first. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Hit the big green button. Let it sit for about two, two and a half seconds. It is, it is warm, so. Don't be afraid to grab, yeah. Post up and get some leverage there. This is harder than it looks, guys. You know, one of my big questions is, are Keen boots actually made in the United States? Well, I kind of figured that one out when I built my own pair. As you can tell, I've been using the heck out of them since then. Right in Portland, Oregon. Now, Nikki could have built her own pair of those if she wanted to, but she opted for something pink. Identify any leaks that may be happening 
in the waterproof tubing. It'll sit here and flex for 100,000 times. Two and a half days. Two and a half days. Two and a half days, it does this. And the, if these machines, which have sensors in them, register anything. It'll stop, and at which point we'll go in and cut the boot cut into it to see the leaks. So then you'll cut it apart to see where you are, where you're finding any more red dye. Now she's getting it set up and all she's going to do is pull that eyelet until either the lace fails or the eyelet fails. And then we'll record what that strength is. So that was at 59 kilograms force. So 59 kilos, that's 100, that's like 120, 100, and almost 130 pounds of force to pull it out. Celine, your job is to randomly go out, pull shoes off from the floor, and destroy them. Yes. Okay. That is my job. <laughs> and you like your job, Yes, don't you? I love my job. <laughs> I've been doing the test of time with them, meaning that the pair I got last year, I'm still using and abusing. And to this day, I haven't found anything wrong with them. So when that happens, I like to report back to people and let them know how well they hold up. I hope this video has helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next because we've got heavy equipment, we've got power tools. And I think you guys tell me, should I start concentrating a little bit more on education? Because if the, if the answer is yes, I'll put out videos like I did with the 10X thing where I talk about how that's not applicable for contractors and small business owners. If you like that, you gotta tell me you want more education. God bless you guys, go get it.